Hello there deep thinkers and today we're going to be discussing time travel and whether it is possible and the different theories that we have already to do with time travel and I'm going to be giving some of my thoughts on it as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. It is very uncertain whether travelling to the past is physically possible but forward time travel outside the usual sense of time perception is actually extensively is a actual extensively observed phenomenon and is well understood under the frameworks of special relativity. Special relativity handling situations that involve all motion and especially those of speeds that are close to the speed of light. And of course, general relativity, which provides us with a unified description of what gravity is and the geometric properties of space and time. With all of this, however, making one body advance or delay more than a couple of milliseconds compared to another body is not feasible with our current technology. Backwards time travel does have some possibilities, that being found under the guise of general relativity that can allow for backwards time travel through rotating around a black hole. This would involve having a ship move around a black hole at immense speeds. The people on board the ship would experience half the time that others would be experiencing on Earth. So for example, if they travelled around the black hole at the speed of light for 20 years, the people on Earth would have experienced 40 years. As we know, if, if we travel at the speed of light, then time will slow down for us. It would be possible to travel at the speed of light, which is 186,282 miles per second in a vacuum. Einstein's equations show that an object traveling at the speed of light would have both an infinite mass and a length of zero. Cosmic strings are another possibility. These strings are narrow tubes of energy stretched across the entire length of the known universe and the ever-expanding universe. These are left over from the early cosmos. They are predicted to contain an enormous amount of mass, which means that they could potentially warp space-time around them. Usually travelling to an arbitrary point in space-time does have limited amount of support by theoretical physics and is usually connected with quantum mechanics or wormholes. A wormhole would present a route from one point of space-time to another, but in this sense you would be time travelling in the sense of moving from one side of the universe to another. You'd be on the other side of the cosmos experiencing time dilation. Who knows how long it could have passed on Earth, but we are discussing this whether Earthbound people can have time travel and not be billions of light years away from Earth. If we were somehow able to create technology that would allow us to, to travel at the speed of light, then of course our perception of time would slow down. We could somehow make the cylinder outside of Earth and travel at the speed of light using that technology if it was possible to travel at the speed of light from rotation so that we were not moving anywhere from Earth so it would send us forward in time so we are not too far away from Earth to experience what it would be like. If time travel is possible then why are we not seeing any time travellers coming to the past? I believe that the reason for this would be due to the multiverse theory and the time travelling would send you to an alternate reality a parallel universe. You would go back in time to everything being the same as it was before except that you're creating a new timeline by going back in time. Now that time that is in the past is now in the present again. I believe that in theory, the one where we travel faster than the speed of light, just going in one single direction faster than the speed of light, would probably be the best thing that we can get towards time travel. Most likely, maybe in the future that we'll be able to break it down and, 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 and just like get a deeper understanding of it. But for right now, as as the technology that we are at and, and the time that we are living in, I, I don't believe that we are going to get to experience anything like that during our lifetime, which really does suck, but it, it's very nice to think about all of the things that the, we're going to be able to most likely do in the future because of all this cool and wonderful things in the universe. It's also great to think about the repercussions of the time travel. If it is getting transported to a parallel universe, then there wouldn't really be that many repercussions for it because you would be in a different reality. Whoever this is could be doing whatever they want, but would they know that they're in an alternate reality? I'm guessing they would most likely because the humans on Earth may not know who it is or why have they been sent there. Maybe it wouldn't even be then. Maybe you would be uh, way out in the future when humans are extinct, you never actually know. Or it, it would be time travel in the sense of now, and then it wouldn't really make sense why we haven't spotted anybody unless there is a rule against contacting people from the past due to not messing up the future, but I, I personally think it would break down into the multiverse theory and into different timelines and realities they would break down into for definitely backwards time travel most likely even for going forward in time maybe forward in time that you stay in this timeline because it is technically still 
on the same stream of flow of time but the fact that it's a stream in the first place means that you can swim upstream most likely but maybe we'll never know time traveling is a very interesting concept to ponder on whether we can go throughout time and space whether we can go back in time and see people that we'll never been able to see before go forward in time and see all of the technological advancements that humans have made i do love to think of just going forward in time and people waiting for generations just like oh this guy's gonna show up any day now and they're just all waiting for you to show up but then they probably forgot to tell people so you just come to the future and you're like oh there's, there's nobody waiting for me it is a, something that you can ponder on a lot and and it is mind-bending stuff for sure but even the fact that we can potentially travel forward in time due to the speed of light slowing down our perception of time due to relativity is also a mind-boggling thing for sure if you enjoy these little short videos on the universe itself and little concept then please make sure to subscribe to the channel and there will be many more videos just like it that we will then in the future delve deeper into in a podcast which we are now releasing as well